Well, thanks, Joe, for another session of Three Minute Theology. We're really, um, we've really been blessed by these. And so talk to us a little bit today about the divinity of Jesus. Well, Kenny, the, the study of Jesus is just a, a fascinating thing. There's all kinds of literature out there, uh, some that you and I wouldn't believe in. I mean, in the 90s, there was a lot of literature about he didn't even exist historically. Other people think that he is just a, a mythical person like the, the Norse gods and the yeah. Greek and Roman gods. But I believe that Jesus is divine. He is the son of God. And here are some reasons. People can argue with these and they will, but here are reasons. His pre-existence, John 1, Colossians 1, it says that Jesus existed before he was before. born. Yeah. But of course, there's no way to prove that other than to believe it in faith and to believe mm -hmm. it because eyewitnesses saw him. And so I also believe in the the virgin conception of Jesus, okay. what we call the virgin birth. Mm -hmm. So that would show his divinity. Uh, say, well, it's not possible. Well, if you have God involved, it is. Mm -hmm. And we know at lower forms, I'm not a biologist, but my understanding is lower forms of, of life can have a, a single sex reproduction. Mm -hmm. So if that's true at that level and you got God involved, what's right. a big problem with the virgin conception? At least that's my perspective on it. He lived a perfect life. Mm -hmm. No one's ever done that before. Mm. fully devoted to God. He performed miracles. And in the process of performing those miracles, he helped people walk again. He, he helped them to see, even raised people That's from the dead. That, it's just not a, a human thing that, that can be done. Only, only God can do that. He's and miracles he's, that were witnessed by many, many people. Yeah, exactly. So it's not like, uh, you know, they're just made up stories. There were people who verified mm -hmm. what was going on. And then the, the greatest thing is his death, burial, and resurrection. Mm. Some people have come back from the dead. And even today, we have some stories of people who are maybe dead and who've come back to life, mm -hmm. you know, had an out-of-body experience. I, I don't know how to judge those other than that's what they experienced. But Jesus is, is different. Uh, who he was and what he did and that God raised him from the dead showed that his divinity was something different. Mm. Uh, the, the purpose of it. Uh, so therefore, even though Lazarus came from back from the dead, he wasn't divine. Jesus come back from the dead because of who he was and how it happened. And the fact that then he ascended into heaven to be with God the Father and is there forever with mm -hmm. him. And so I fully believe that Jesus is divine, the Son of God, and that uh, he's worth putting our faith and trust in. Well, thanks, Joe. And uh and again, we really are enjoying these. And next week, we're going to talk. You're going to speak about the humanity that Jesus was all God, but all man, too. So tune in next Wednesday for another session of Three Minute Theology. You guys have a great week.